If a man says he's not afraid of dying, he's either lying or is a Gurkha. But who are the mighty Gurkhas and why do they fight in the British Army? The story goes back to the British Empire in India and a war between the East India Company and the Kingdom of Nepal. Far from being a pushover, at the Battle of Kalanga, Britain took heavy casualties from fierce and determined Gorkali troops. Armed with the fearsome cookery, the British greatly admired the bravery of their enemies. Mutual admiration emerged, a peace treaty was signed, and now as friends, Gurkhas were recruited to serve the British Crown. Gurkhas fought for the empire, remaining steadfastly loyal during the Indian Mutiny. 200,000 fought in World War I and a quarter of a million in World War II. There was no shortage of heroism. Lachiman Garung won the Victoria Cross when in Burma he bore the brunt of a 200-man Japanese attack. Alone, he took out 31 enemies and doing it all with only one hand. Gurkha courage continues into this century. In Afghanistan in 2010, Diprasad Pun single-handedly took down 30 enemies, even resorting to throwing his tripod, knocking a fighter off a roof. He added to the long list of Gurkha brilliance and was awarded the conspicuous gallantry cross by the Queen. Like and follow for more.